All right, so a little review on stuff we learned in chemistry and chemical biology. We talked about biology. So. All right, so estimated digits and measuring. So most of the stuff we're going to use in this class is electronic. So an electronic balance, right? So electronic balance, uh, last digit is estimated. If you did have to use an analog device, you would have to estimate the last digit. Because remember, estimating the digit um, takes care of increasing the accuracy or the precision of your measurement. So uh, I'll remind you of some rules for, for zeros. All right. Um, so trailing zeros without a decimal are never significant. Are never. So if you look at here, these trailing zeros don't have a decimal. So this has two significant digits, only the one and three. So it has two sig digits. Those last three zeros are just telling you the magnitude of the numbers. It's just telling you that the three is in the thousands place and the one is in the ten thousands place. So rule number two, right? Leading zeros are never significant. So again, these three zeros right here, right, are not significant. Uh, they just tell you where the magnitude of the place holding is. So the two is in the um, thousandths place, and the seven is in the, the ten thousandths place. And rule number three, trailing zeros after decimal always aren't. So again, I have these leading zeros that aren't, but everything after the first real number is going to count because it was a decimal, right? So two, four, five, zero, zero. So all of those, right, are significant. And rule number four, right, zeros between real numbers, they all count. So this is also significant. So um, your significant digit rules, make sure you review them. Um, we've been over them so many times. If you've already had chemistry, which you're supposed to have, uh, you probably know this. All right, so if we look at here, rules for multiplication, I'll remind you again. Um, answer cannot be more precise or have more um, digits, right, than the least precise measurement. All right, so. This has um, four you can say that first number has four digits of precision. The number leading doesn't count, but the other four does. And that second number has three digits. So it can't have more, so my answer can only have three digits. Right? So again, this has four digits, and this has three digits. Right? So for this, I have to round my answer right, to three digits. So remember, my five rounds up, so I get 14.9 grams rounded to three digits. Right? And I think I just showed you that here. I know we're good. Okay. Addition subtraction. All right. So this is about accuracy of your measurement. All right. So accuracy is you get by the last digit. So this is accurate to the tenth. This is accurate to the hundredth. This is accurate to the tenth. So what it says is that we, our answer can only be as accurate as my least accurate. And those are my least accurate numbers. The 52.68 is more accurate, right? It has more degree, digits of accuracy. So determining, right, are both accurate to the tenth place, like I just said. This is the hundredth place. So my answer is going to be accurate to the tenth. So when I add these up on the calculator, I get that. Remember, the eight will round up. And I'll get one the A, B, three. It's not about number of significant digits, but addition and subtraction. Right? It's, a big place. it's about accuracy. Right. So that's what I tell you here. Okay. Rules for mixed operations. 
So again, parentheses first. So if I'm doing multiplication and division first, just in the parentheses, then I have that rule. I have four digits here. I have six digits there. So my answer can only have four digits. All right, that's what I said here. All right, so I do that, I get my four digits there. And when I subtract, I do subtraction. All right. Oops, let me erase that. Put the arrow in the right spot. So this is the tens place, and this right, is the thousands place. So tens place is least accurate. So my answer can only, I have to round it to the tens place. Now you can basically round up, right? Because that's my tens place, and I get 1250. It can't be more accurate than my least accurate measurement. Scientific notation, uh, I'll let you go ahead and read about that. We put things in scientific notation at this point. In this level of class, you should know how to do it. All right? Percent error, we use percent error a lot in, in this class. Uh, in your advanced science class, you should use it a lot. All right? Remember, it's measured minus accepted, divided by accepted. All right? And then it's an absolute value. All right? So we always make our deviation a positive. So a result can be positive or negative, but the answer is always represented in the absolute value. So if the accepting mass is uh, 5 grams, right, 5.00 grams, and my digit reads 5.02, the percent error, right, so this is my measure, and this is my accepted value, and I divide that by my accepted. I get 0 0.004 or 4%. I don't care which one you leave this in if I give you a question. Uh, just be consistent. Don't put 0 0.004% because that would be wrong. Right? So that's my percent error. These are all things you should know. All right. Uh, for this class, you have to know your metric measurements. Right? In this class, we usually do smaller stuff. So if you could know meter through nano, right, then you're probably good. Right. Now we use these, right, we use these um, kind of relative ratios to do simple equations. Right, so know, know the magnitude compared, right, meter, deci, centi, milli, micro, nano, right. We use micro and nano a lot because DNA are really small, so we use those two quite a bit. So make sure you know um, your smaller ones, which I have to erase that, I screwed it out. Your smaller ones, right? In particular, make sure you know micro and nano. Right, right molarity. Simple. Molarity is moles per liter. The thing is that you have to be able to go to moles. Remember, a mole Remember that a mole is the molar mass, is a mu is expressed in grams. So what is the molarity of a solution? Right? The 100 grams of sodium chloride, right, in 5 liters. Right, so sodium has a molar mass of 22.99 grams, and chloride is 35.4. Hold on, I'll get you. I went and checked and I was right. Okay. So the thing is I have to make this. I have to make this in the moles. First, right? All right, so I have hundred grams. So if we can remember how to do that, let me I'll do that over here. Right. So I've got 100 grams, 0 0.0 grams, uh, NaCl. I put my molar mass here, so I want to get the moles. I have to put my molar mass at the bottom. So if I get this, I get 4. Uh, 
Follow my rules for significant digits. I have three digits in the bottom, four in the top, so my answer should have three digits. So I get point zero zero. Three or two, and right? capital M is molarity. Okay, so I can have that, or I can write it as three point four two times ten to the negative three. So either way you write it, it's going to be fine. Right? So that's how you do molarity. All right, dilutions. Right, m one v one is equal to m one v two. Right, so Remember the ones and twos mean initial and final. Right, so it says how many milliliters of three molar HCl are required to make a hundred milliliters of a point one. So I'm starting with three molar, that's my M1. My V1, I don't know, is equal to M2 would be point one molar, and my V2 would be. I move my three more over. Okay. Let's just see. All right. And when I do this on my calculator, I'll get three point three three. But remember, I have one digit here. Three digits there, one digit there. So I need to round this to one digit. All right, so I'll round to one digit. So that's how you do dilutions. We're going to do dilutions a lot in this class. All right, you also see dilutions written as C1, V1 is equal to C2, V2. And C just stands for concentration. And I'll show you why. Um, So a lot of times we use, um, in, in labs, they use a times concentration. So this is 50 times concentrated, and I want to make it into a one-time concentrated. So my C1 would be the 50 times, V1 I don't know, is equal to C2 would be 1 by, and I have 120 milliliters. Again, I believe my 50 over here. I get 2.4 milliliters, right? But I've got one digit here and one digit at the bottom. Well, 
Tá bom, tá bom, tá bom. So anyway, you would round it just to the two, because I can't get my pen to work. All right. Okay, well, that's it for now. I'll talk to you soon.